Some of us in South Africa feel that Helen Zilla wanting Jacob Zuma to show details of his bond is racist and similar to Donald Trump wanting Barack Obama to show a copy of his birth certificate. You have to agree they do look a bit similar. The only difference is Obama actually produced the document. Hmm? Zuma is still going around his house going, I'm an people into a bond, man. I want this bond thing. I put it there under the drawer. Makumal, can you go check there on, 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 on room number four, number seven, please? When I little one, go check. I need to find this. This Kandla saga has got a lot of tongues wagging, and we here at ENCA went to the streets because we know we are in touch with the people to find out what South Africans are feeling about this whole thing. If he's getting paid two million per year to build a house that costs a yard or whatever that is building a palace that costs 238 million, we need to know where he gets it from. It was a big deal when Tabombeg spent about eight million in his residence. But now we're talking of 250 million on Zuma's residence. That's a lot of money. If black people are upset, then white people must be fuming over this thing. I'm on. Guys! I think that's enough. I mean, bonds should be a private issue. It should stay private if everything is above board. Hey, man. It seems white people have just given up on this fight against the ANC. In this case, this is a case of if you can't beat them, just join them. Just buy a house where, where they don't run the municipality, brother. Just do that, eh? And then you won't have a reason to comply. The city press has done its investigation and has concluded that the president does not have a bond and that he was kept abreast of everything regarding the Nkandla Palace. This is after he strongly denied having any knowledge of what the state was spending on the palace. It turns out he even put pressure on the ministers to finish the house for Christmas. The DA went there to investigate to see what the hell was happening there with their own eyes. They were refused entry. No one else really knows what's going on in that place, right? And no one knows what the money is being spent on. We managed to locate a census lady who did the count at the Nkandla compound. And I bet you Jacob is sitting at home going, yo, yo, lava fana by a Daniel. Tell us, what's the scoop there in Nkandla? Hey, Louiso, do you know that the president has towel warmers? Nkandla has 155 television sets with no DSTV, just SABC and J. There's a tuck shop to give Makumala a way to earn some extra income, but it also doubles up as a private office. <laughs> I have a picture of that tuck shop when I love you, so you won't believe. There is also a soccer pitch where I watched a match between the security guards and Morocco Swallows. Yeah, <laughs> Morocco Swallows. <laughs> no, 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 but they only have SABC, so they don't get to watch LNN, our show. Sure. That's, that's crazy. Tell us more. Uh, I will tell you that access to water and electricity has increased in the compound, but the president still uses candles on shoulders. Why does the president use candles? Does he not trust the ways of the white men? Eh? And his fire that runs through the copper cables. Why does he not trust them? What's going on? Hey, man, Luis, oh, he's just a, a romantic, you know? Oh, are residents in the area complaining about the president's extravagant compound? Are, they, are the people around him going, but this is too much? Complaining for him. For one, the light from the house provides the light for all the other houses with no lights, even if it's dark. Okay. So, Africa, that's a bit bizarre. We'll be back after the break with David Kubuka send us emails and Twitter and Facebook. I, this is bizarre. Very bizarre. Very, very bizarre.